Hey, what's up, everyone? Same time gaming here. Welcome back from the Division 2 Weekly Cassie Mendoza Reset. Well, guys, today she's located over here at the East Mall, right next to the Castle Settlement. And if you guys want to know where I found my snitch, as usual, I found him right next to the Castle Settlement here as well in the alleyway. Now, if you're having uh, trouble finding your snitch, I will link a video in the comment section. If you watch that, you will find him 100% of the time. Now let's take a look what she got for sale so the first named item we have here is the invisible hand assault rifle comes with the perfect allegro talent i mean we don't have any allegro talent in the game but we have a perfect version of that so it's here then we have swap speed of 12.8 percent we have health damage of 18.5 and assault rifle damage of 11.6 now next we have the sacrifice chess piece which is a named providence chess piece comes with perfect glass cannon talent now, this one has crit damage on uh, and uh, skill damage here as well. So, if you want, you can change the skill damage and add like crit chance um, or like headshot damage or something like that. If you're making a crit build with glass cannon and you want just absolute damage, uh, but then uh, it comes with 60% uh, amplified damage as well. So, you will do 30% damage, but you'll take 60% damage. So, yeah, if you want to use it, well, you can buy this and change the skill damage, like I said, to crit chance and use it on your crit build. Now, next we have Shield Splinter Assault Rifle, comes with perfect Optimus talent. We have 9.9% of reload speed, 16% of health damage, and 11.7% of Assault Rifle damage. Now, this is a Hunter exclusive item. So, if you don't see this uh, particular weapon at Castle Mendoza, that means you haven't cleared your Hunters. Go clear your Hunters, then you will be able to see this weapon. Uh, next, we have the Hunter Kila chest piece. Same, same goes for this one. This is also a Hunter exclusive item. If you haven't cleared your Hunters, you will not be able to see these two items, okay? Now, this comes with the beautiful Perfect Intimidate talent, which is 40% of multiplicative damage. I really love that. I always use it on my builds. Now, this one has a headshot damage here, 8.1%, and status effect on 92 and of course, we have armor there. Now, this is actually a pretty decent one because status effect, I really enjoy its status effect on a Golan Gear pieces because Golan Gear already gives you 10% status effect as a set bonus. So on top of that, like more st status effect is really good. Now, this also has headshot damage, so uh, you can you can use it on a pistol build, maybe, you know, pistol build with intimidate uh, and like moment or backpack or something like that. Or you can change the headshot damage to crit damage and keep the status effect like that. So whatever you want, it's up to you. Uh, I always recommend to buy the Hunter Killer. So, yeah, if you don't have a better one, just buy this. Now, next we have the True Patriot backpack. Comes with armor here and crit damage of 10.5%. Next, we have ongoing directive chest piece with 12% uh, of weapon damage, 7.6% of headshot damage. Then we have a Negotiator Dilemma gloves with 12.6% of weapon damage and 7.8% of headshot damage. Then we have Hardwire knee pads with 7.5 explosive resistance, a Rigor holster with 10.6% of skill haste, Aces and 8 mask with 9.6 weapon damage and 9.5 hazard protection. Then we have military G36 assault rifle, comes with Optimus talent. We have maxed out optimal range, 9.5% uh, of health damage, 12.9% uh, assault rifle damage. Next, we have a D50 pistol with killer talent. We have 9.3% of accuracy, 11.7% of pistol damage. Then we have Badger Tough chest piece with glass cannon talent. We have 6.5 weapon handling, 7.9 explosive resistance, and obviously armor there. Next, we have Alt Summit holster with armor region, 4,284, skill damage of 8.3%. Then we have utility system mod, which is 17% of repair skill. And finally, we have a turret mod, which is 6.5% of duration. But that's it for weekly Kasim Mendoza, guys. She's going to sell all of these items for the rest of the week. But she will change her location. But to find her, you need to find the snitch. And if you're having trouble, like I said, just watch the video. I will link it in the comment section. After that, you will find him every time. I would recommend you guys to buy the sacrifice, uh, especially if you want to make that crazy damage kind of build. But remember, you will take a lot of damage. If you're a new player, you can use this. But then uh, don't think or complain that why you're taking so much damage and you're going down all the time this the talent which is giving you damage but also killing you at the same time so yeah that's why it's called the sacrifice chest piece you know um uh, then i would recommend get the hunter killer if you haven't already it can be used in beautiful type of like status effect or a hybrid type of build uh if you want any suggestion on that you can check it on my channel i have multiple one of them so yeah that's basically for the video hope you guys will find what you're looking for and i will see you guys in the next one till then peace